Welcome back guys to another video. Today we're doing more food photography tips and ideas because you guys loved the last one. Let's get into it. In the last episode of food photography ideas, I showed you how I cooked some really, really easy like a burger and some spinach and stuff. And then I took photos of the whole process, the preparation and the food at the end. Today is a bit different. Today I want to show you more of the raw side. So I'm going to take some photos and show you how can you make something really basic look amazing. So the first thing you want to do is simply prepare a tray and just put the food that you want to cook over here. So as you can see right here, let me turn this around. We got a tray, we got avocado, we got tomatoes, onion, some of these things. We got focaccia, we got a, a wrap and corn. This is what ooh, uh, mm, eh, we got. It. This is what my lunch is gonna be. So first of all, I'm gonna take a shot of everything how it is, and then I'm gonna take some detailed shot of each things alone with a little bit of backdrop and some foreground and stuff. And let's see how that looks. So once you've taken all of these photos with the tray, with everything prepped and like ready to get ready, ready to get ready, you wanna start and like maybe cut the tomatoes, get those like details in the tomatoes, play around with that, leave maybe like cut the tomatoes, then cut the avocado, and then leave like a piece of avocado, take a photo of the tomato. You know, just play around with your preparation and get creative and see where your creativity takes you. So as you can see right here, for example, I've uh, cut the avocado in two. I've cut all the tomatoes and I left the knife on the board with the seed because everybody opens the avocado and just uh, clop. And so this is a perfect scene. I'm going to grab my 85 lens and take a shot from uh, maybe further that way. And this will look amazing. So you can see the reflection of the knife and everything. This will look amazing. At the same time, we got frying the, the corn and the green stuff, which I don't remember the name, so if you know the name of those green stuff, just link it below, link it, type it below. Once the corn is crispy, we're gonna take some photos of that. Let me, let me show you what this looks like. The corn is ready to take photos. And I've done guacamole and the wraps are gonna go into there. So let's take some photo of the corn, which is ready. And then uh, I'm gonna put some uh, mashed avo with tomatoes on the wraps. And that's gonna be the last shot. And I'll show you why. Let me do all of this. And that is all. The main takeaway from this episode, I would say it's simply do not care if your food doesn't look amazing, if you don't have the best plate, if you don't have the best food, maybe you're just making pasta, it doesn't matter. You can make anything look good. Just take fun of the process instead of the final product because for me, the final product, it looks good, but the process is what stunned me like seeing like those cut tomatoes, the avocado, that's, that just tells a story. So try and do that. Don't forget to like and subscribe as always. I'm gonna go eat because my food is getting cold and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace! Do you think I look like a Backstreet Boys? Or what, Jonas Brother? This hat?